In this video, we'll write the equation for Na3PO4 plus H2O. This is sodium phosphate plus water. So sodium phosphate, you have this metal bonded to these nonmetals here. That is going to be an ionic compound. We're going to write an S there for solid. Water we have is a liquid. The question is whether when we put Na3PO4 in water, is it going to dissolve? Will it dissolve, split apart into its ions, or is it insoluble? Will it just stay as a solid? So we can look at our solubility rules here to help us figure that out. And the first rule says that group one elements are soluble. And here's sodium. So it's going to be soluble. So we know this is going to dissolve when we put it in water, split apart into its ions. Let's look at the periodic table here and see what the charge on the sodium ion is. So here's sodium. It's in group one. So it's going to have a one plus ionic charge. So write a little one plus above it here. So we have three of them. The phosphate ion, this is one you need to remember, the whole thing has an ionic charge of 3 minus. So once we know these charges, now we can split it apart into its ions. We have sodium, which is the Na plus ion, and we're at AQ. It's dissolved in water. And we have three of them, three separate sodium ions. So we put that coefficient there. Plus, we have our phosphate ion. And that's also dissolved in water, so we write AQ. And this is the equation for Na3PO4 plus H2O. Sometimes you'll see people put the H2O above the arrow. That's okay. I prefer it here. And since we have aqueous written here and here, saying that these are dissolved in water, we really don't need to write H2O again on this side of the equation. This is Dr. B with the equation for sodium phosphate plus water. Thanks for watching.